Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hector Scuba and Marina. We're going to continue on with our knot series here. And as stated in previous videos, knots tend to be something that's a little intimidating to the newer diver or boater out there because there, there's so many knots to learn. They get intimidated. They're afraid that they may not tie them right. Uh, and with the last two videos we've done, the bowline knot and the clove hitch or the double half hitch knot, uh, as you can see, they're not that difficult. We're going to look at one more knot today and we're going to talk about why you would want to use it. Uh, let's say that you're running rope between two poles or, or two objects underwater and for argument's sake your rope's not long enough. You, you've ran out of rope and you're going to have to add an additional rope to it. Uh, and there's several different ways that you could connect those two. Uh, a double fisherman's knot is going to work good. Um, but or what we call a prusik knot but one that works really good let's say if you have two different diameters of rope and you need to connect those together to extend it out uh, a good knot to use is called a sheet bend it's very simple to tie all you're going to do is take one end and you're going to create a bite in it basically just a loop all right now with that bite you're going to take your other end or your other rope and you're going to come up through the hole of itself okay just like that then what I'm going to do is work up underneath, go completely around that loop itself, or around that bite, and then I'm going to pull that working end back underneath. Now it's very similar to a square knot, but if you look where I'm at now, if I was tying a square knot, this would actually go back through the hole itself, and that would create that square knot, but it's not that secure. So what I'm going to do, instead of going back through the hole, I'm just going to go up underneath the rope itself. So it kind of looks like that right there. And then I'm going to simply cinch it down. All right. And that's going to give me a good tight connection to connect two different diameters of rope. Now, if you're afraid that's not going to be secure enough for you, one thing that you can do is take the remaining uh, tail ends here and just tie a quick half hitch into it. And that's going to help you secure that knot as well so guys that's the um sheet bend knot it's a very simple knot to use if you're trying to extend rope and you got two different diameters of rope to do it's a great and easy one to tie make sure you practice this along with the clove hitch or the double half hitch and of course the bowline and those in reality are only three knots you really need to use as a scuba diver there's many out there that you can use but those three are the most common it's what you're going to see in your advanced course your search and recovery course and even in public safety and of course your instructor courses and stuff like that so guys i hope this video helped you out as always make sure to follow her each week for a new video make sure you follow us on twitter and instagram like us on facebook pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.